Social media blackmail or sextortion has escalated at an alarming rate, and it's safe to say that it's not slowing down anytime soon. People use social media to share their interests and lives with family and friends, as well as to make new friends. Now, the downside is that cyber criminals can use these same platforms to create fake identities and manipulate victims into disclosing personal information. Today, I will be sharing three real examples of social media blackmail cases that we here at Digital Forensics have worked on in the past. We'll start with case number one, the Instagram blackmailer. Here, a 25-year-old man from Colorado was blackmailed by someone who threatened to release nude photos of him unless he paid them $3,000. The victim had originally met this person on Instagram, where, based on the profile, he thought he was speaking to an attractive girl of the same age. Initially, the conversation was friendly and flirty, but it quickly turned sexual when the blackmailer suggested exchanging intimate photos. Once the photos were exchanged, the blackmailer dropped the flirty act and used the photos to extort money from the victim. The blackmailer provided dozens of screenshots of the victim's Instagram friends list, stating that they would all receive copies of the victim's explicit photos if the cash demand wasn't paid. The threats were non-stop and became more aggressive until the victim became too frightened and gave in to the demands and paid. The blackmailer stopped with the threats, but not for long. Like clockwork, just a few short hours after making the payment, the suspect came back and demanded more and more money. Unable to send more money, the victim frantically began searching for answers online and finally reached out to us for help. Using our proprietary techniques and technology, we were able to trace the blackmailer back to an exact address in Lagos, Nigeria, in Africa. Alarmed that we uncovered his real name and true location, the blackmailer caved to our demands and provided video proof that our client's content was deleted and agreed to end all communication moving forward. It is now over a year later and the blackmailer has not returned. Case number two, the Facebook blackmailer. In this scenario, a woman was being blackmailed by someone on Facebook who threatened to release explicit photos and videos of her unless she provided more intimate content of herself. The victim quickly recognized the content she was being threatened with, but was confused as to how this person obtained it, knowing that she never posted it anywhere. The victim realized she had only sent the photos and videos to her former partner, whom she recently separated from. The victim was almost certain it was her ex-partner doing this to her, but she had no proof because the person sextorting her was hiding behind a fake Facebook account. So she reached out to us for help. Since the victim believed her ex-partner was responsible for the sextortion, he was our top suspect. We looked into the profile in question as well as the ex's known social media accounts and gathered as much information as possible to connect the dots and help determine if the blackmailer and the ex were in fact the same person. With the use of our proprietary tracking technology and a bit of social engineering, we were able to uncover that the blackmailer's IP address and the primary suspect's IP address were an exact match, thus proving that the blackmailer was in fact the victim's ex. And we provided the victim with a full report of our findings and she provided that to the police. The blackmailer was charged thanks to recent changes with uh, revenge porn laws and our client was granted a restraining order, restoring the peace of mind that she had all but lost before contacting us. Case number three, the plenty of fish blackmailer. A man formed a new relationship with a woman on a dating site, Plenty of Fish. The two hit it off and although they've never met each other in person, a romantic relationship began. Shortly into their new relationship, the love interest began using the victim's emotions against him, asking for various amounts of money almost daily. At first, the victim thought nothing of it and helped when he could. In his mind, it was for groceries, a medical bill, a phone bill, car repair, some spending money. He didn't realize just how much it was costing him though, because he was in love. Over time, the victim ended up paying over $100,000 to this person, thinking he was helping someone he cared for. Things took a dramatic turn once the victim could not financially support the person any longer. This is when the blackmail truly began. The victim was bombarded with threats of exposing his intimate photos and videos online if he did not continue to support the blackmailer's lifestyle. He panicked and reached out to us for help. We were able to trace the blackmailer's location back to Manila, Philippines and obtain the blackmailer's identification card, which showed their exact address and that they were actually a 22-year-old male. We provided the blackmailer with all of their incriminating actions and stated how they can face serious criminal charges for sextortion, fraud, identity theft, and many other crimes. The blackmailer knew he was caught and ultimately complied to our demands and agreed to end all communication with the victim. 
Like many in these sorts of situations, he did not get his money back from the blackmailer, but he did get his life back thanks to our help. If you find yourself in any situation like these, remember that there are people who can help and that you are not alone. Take action by gathering evidence, contacting the police, and securing your online accounts. And most importantly, do not give in to the blackmailer's demands, no matter how much they threaten you. We're a call or click away. Until next time, stay safe out there.